Hare Krishna. Welcome back to our discussion on positive thinking. We are discussing the concept of the idea at work. Idea is an acronym that conveys the fundamentals of spirituality, identity, divinity, eternity and activity. In our previous talk we discussed an ancient historical incident of how the atrocious murder of Abhimanyu and the negativity that came because of that was countered by Vyasadeva's spiritual wisdom. Now we will see how in modern times a uh, modern day saint uh, was able to overcome reversal after reversal and persevere and achieve stupendous success by the positive thinking coming from this spiritual worldview. Um, imagine uh, a 69 year old person from a, a, a elderly mendicant from India wandering on the streets of New York without knowing anyone, without having any money, without having any organizational support. And if we look back at this person's life story, what was it? In 1921-22 he got the mandate from his spiritual master to share the message of spiritual love with the world. But he, instead of uh, striving to, instead of, sh he uh, tried to do that in India for almost 30 years, 40 years in fact, and he got very few takers. He initially decided to try to establish a business, a pharmaceutical business, so that he could finance and sponsor his spiritual master's mission. But despite repeated tries, his um, he, his business was burglarized and ruined. Uh, for a, a business person to lose one's business is the end of one's very purpose of existence. It was a catastrophic reversal, but he persevered. He, in 1944, tried to start a magazine based on the spiritual wisdom that he had received from India's Bhakti tradition. And unfortunately, in India, that was enamored by political change, that was enamored by Western culture, Western notions of progress. And India, that was crippled by financial concerns. Uh, this, such an India uh, was not interested in spiritual wisdom. And again, his magazine found very few takers. He uh, wrote a manuscript of a book, but unfortunately, that was just uh, lost and sold away as garbage paper. Uh, unwittingly by some of his relatives. He started an organization at Jhasi called the League of Devotees and he envisioned that this uh, place in Jhasi would become the headquarters of a global movement. But uh, a political clique against him not only stopped the growth of his organization but also had him evicted from the very place that was going to be its headquarters. And he found himself not only organizationless, but homeless and practically uh, friendless. He persevered on, seeing that Indians were not interested in the profound spiritual message of the Vedic literature. Uh, he decided, seeing that Indians wanted to imitate uh, the West being enamored by the West, he decided to go to the West and inspire people in the West to take up the message of Bhakti. And for that purpose, he decided to go to America after great struggle. He managed to get the sponsorship, he managed to get the visa, he managed to get uh, get free passage on a cargo ship, which is not very comfortable. But somehow he decided to go, tolerate it and go. And yet, on that ship, he got two devastating heart attacks. And there was no medical assistance available on the ship. So it was extremely painful and he somehow endured those terrible attacks and then finally he came to America. Well, in America he had his own small office in New York and then the janitor of that office itself burglarized his typewriter and his other possessions and he already had very few things with him and even those were lost. 
finally he man moved to the lower east side to the hippie area and there he started teaching uh, started teaching bhakti yoga to uh, to the hippie students who came one of the students became interested started moving with him and was aspiring to become his disciple and yet one day in a drug induced mania this young man uh, went crazy and ran, charged toward this elderly swami to attack him and bhakti dans and he had this swami had to rush out of the house the four stories he had to run down and go into the streets and not knowing where to go uh, helpless in a foreign land uh, with a threat to his life from a person who is supposed to have given his life for his sake this was the story of ac bhakti vedant swami shri prabhupad till 1966 and yet uh, he persevered on he uh, he was not he was he had met reversal after reversal after reversal but he persevered on with the knowledge with the confidence that god was watching god was appreciating his endeavors and if god was pleased that itself would is was a success and according in god's time in, in the time of his beloved lord krishna success all success would manifest eventually and does he persevered and seeing this devotional integrity of his disciple of his devotee uh, krishna awarded bhakti vidhan swami shri prabhupad its stupendous success in the last 11 years of his life in those 11 years he established 108 temp temples in all the inhabited continents of the world he circumnavigated the globe 14 times he went around the he went around the he inspired thousands and thousands and thousands of people all over the world to live lives of integrity and service devoted to god and to all living beings in relationship with god and he uh, he wrote over 70 books uh, which have become priceless spiritual literature illumining all of humanity with timeless values and thus he persevered and attained extraordinary success by his positive optimistic attitude based on his spiritual foundations later on in his uh, the years when he had he was working uh, and uh, at spreading spirituality at international level one of his female students wrote to him expressing her dis- his dis- her discouragement at the various problems she was facing in her spiritual practice and prabhupad wrote back saying that no we are not discouraged because we live on a platform beyond encouragement and discouragement we work at a different platform that different platform meant that his focus was primarily the spiritual understanding of reality he was reciprocating love with the supreme with krishna and he was getting supreme satisfaction in that and that was an inexhaustible source of positivity for him from within the love for the lord and his the lord's love for him they were an exhaustive source of positivity that countered and transcended whatever negativity the world might offer at attaining that different higher platform of consciousness connecting with an inexhaustible uh, well of positivity that is what we can all do by understanding and tapping the principles of spirituality as uh, described in the bhakti literature of ancient india what those principles are and how we can tap them we'll discuss in our future sessions thank you ray